Hey everyone, welcome to another hurricane recovery video. In this one, we are removing this queen palm from the top of my canopy. Uh, it missed that gazebo over there by literally a quarter inch. I couldn't believe how close it came to taking out that gazebo. Sure. And you'll see Going at the end of the video, the amazingly, when the guys here from Stokes Marine lifted it off of the canopy, the canopy just kind of sprung back into its normal shape. It wasn't dented or damaged in any way. I mean, I, I just couldn't believe it. I have to put in an incredible plug for Stokes Marine. They are the exclusive dealer for golden lifts. So if you're interested in the warm gear style lift, they're the only place in town you can get it. They do amazing work. They installed both of these lifts and did some of the dock work. And I just can't say enough about them. Uh, they came over with their barge and their crane, uh, used a bosun's chair to lower down into the boat, uh, strapped up the palm tree and managed to uh, you know, lift it off. We ended up cutting it with a chainsaw and then putting it over in the yard so it can be cut up and disposed of. But there is no way I could have done this without them. I'll put a link to their site down below. Uh, Phil is the best salesman on the planet. Uh, if you need any work done through Stokes, please contact Phil. I'll put his phone number and everything right here in the comments. Also, I wanted to mention that these guys are so incredibly skilled. What they're doing here is maneuvering the tree around the edge of the gazebo. It kind of fell and rolled slightly, so they had to move it in a way that it wouldn't look on the corner of the gazebo. Up on the gazebo. I mean, they're just so skilled with this crane. I, I, I'm. I'm just blown away. The noise that you heard that sounded like aluminum kind of crunching, what that is is the berries falling off this palm tree. There must have been a thousand berries in yeah, the boat along with all kinds of other palm tree mess. Uh, but anyway, they maneuvered it around the gazebo. They did not cause any damage moving it. Um, I'm just, uh, I can't say enough. Uh, so. Stay tuned, check it out. Uh, we end up cutting the palm and, uh, and then they maneuver it around the uh, sailboat there and lay it down in the yard. Pretty impressive crane work. Nice. Like a quarter I'm inch. More than thrilled. Anyway, uh, that's it uh, for the commentary. If you care to subscribe, I would really appreciate it. I'll post a few more videos on hurricane cleanup and then I think I'm going to uh, start yeah. another playlist on um, rebuilding my son's house completely flooded so we're going to need to uh, rebuild that want me to want to cut it thanks for watching see you next time I would stop. And then, yeah, do it from the top now. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, wait. I think he's saying that they want to break it. It's already breaking. No, oh, it's going to splash. <laughs> Nice, right? And all the companies in Milwaukee sound like. Yeah, that sucker, no gas. It, you don't have to worry about it. It'll work every time you put a battery in it. He's probably going to lay it right across there. That's what I would do with it. At least it's off the boat. And that canopy sprung right back into position.
Look at that. It's, it's not even dented. Wow. That was lucky. Yeah, but uh, 320s.